hey everyone welcome to another vlog i've not done a vlog in so long i did the bentley one but that has been in the last three to four weeks i would say that's been the only opportunity i've had to actually film something that's remotely interesting just because i've been working so much and then when i haven't been working on the days that i get off you know when you just want to sit in front of the tv wear your pajamas all day maybe go to the gym pretty much do nothing that's what i've been doing trust me if i vlogged it it would be the most boring vlog of your life today i wanted to break out and do something first of all i took a whole bunch of shoes to there's like a cobbler in harrods that reapply the red soles on the bottom of the christian louboutin shoes i've never had I don't think I've ever had any resold. I'm sitting here now and I've just remembered that I've left a load at home that I wanted to take as well anyway. I'm gonna do that and what else? Oh yeah, then I've been invited to this event. It's like a River Island event. I don't have a clue what it's gonna be like, but I thought, well, I'm in London anyway, why not go along? So I'm gonna do that. That's it really. And I thought I'd just take you with me and we'll see where this vlog ends up. I'm in a Harrods changing room. The sale is on at the moment. I'm really late to it, like a lot of the stuff has gone, but I found some really good stuff that is amazingly priced. So the first is this self-portrait dress and it used to be 250 pounds and it's now 99.95. Second up is this. I think I prefer this colorway, but I'm not sure yet. But anyway, this was 250 also, but it's 74.95. Who remembers this jacket from Needle and Thread? This price is incredible. So I looked at this jacket when it first came out. It was originally £230, but it's now £82.95. And then I want to try on these two pairs of jeans. They're not actually in the sale, but um, I want to try them anyway. But like, look at the detail on these. And before I begin, this is my outfit today. Obviously it doesn't go with these jeans at all. What do you think? Like, what the hell? It's like, <laughs> it's like shorts that are jeans. Don't you think they're weird? It's just, these ones are better, but they just remind me of Britney Spears in year 2000 for some reason. What do you think of this? This I really like. This is the next one. in here they're gonna let me film this is river island christmas collection so it's not out yet there are some really nice things here i've got to show you them the shoes in particular don't you think they look just like the gucci prince town pumps don't you think they're so nice i love the colors this is something that really excites me oh my god look at this bag i think that's really pretty something else has just caught my eye that i really want have you seen this new trend which is jeans that have got pearls down them look at the detail on them how pretty how pretty is that and they've put it there just with like a bandeau type top is this a brooch yeah that is a brooch I've, this is a real treat to be able to see this stuff before it comes out I've, oh, I've just seen something else I really like look at these again they sort of like remind me of Gucci a little bit Honestly, this is insane. There is so much stuff in here that I really like. I've just found this and I can't think of the name, but I saw a dress like this the other day on Farfetch that was by a designer brand. So it's like a shift dress. I think it's looking a bit orange on here, but it's actually like a scarlet red. And then it's just plain on the back. So I'm in the press office, the River Island press office, and one of the guys working here took me through the collections. So I can now do a better job of this. There's 
start with the guys. There are three key collections coming out that are all going to get launched in around October. The first is the Manhattan collection, the second is Party, and then the third is more casual. Everything here, including the jacket and the sort of accessories that you can see around here, these are all from the Manhattan collection. And so the colours are said to be very sort of New York. I love this jacket actually. These are for nights out. Check out this jacket. This I've seen at Topshop recently and I think this might be a... Is there something like this from Versace out at the moment? Because I feel like I've seen it before. But we've got some other versions down here. So if you want to go for something really like funky, we've got this gold snake skin. That could be quite cool, like on a winter night out if you're going to do something fancy. And then the final area is down here. Everything here is a lot more relaxed and you've got things like oversized coats, we've got a couple here in grey and in um, like a dog tooth. Now on the other side, in the girls side, there are four collections. The first one is based on clueless. This is everything in the collection, everything is oversized but there's lots of like short skirts and things like this. The thing that I love, there's two things that I really like. First of all, I really like this t-shirt, it sort of reminds me of Gucci and I really like, I am so love pearls so the fact that this has got them on there, I think that's really pretty. The other thing that I like about this jacket and it also has a matching little mini skirt and that is the skirt there so it's got like a little gross grain uh, band across the top and it's frilly on the bottom. This is my favourite thing from this particular collection, it's a grey like massive grey jumper with this it's like semi polo neck but look at the sleeves the sleeves have got this on there which really reminds me of Dior you know the tribal earrings then the final two collections one is based on 80s and then the final one is like more of a rock chick sort of thing When I came in here, I got given a token for this machine that I'm stood next to and should we see if I win anything? So it's like one of these ball machines. Here is my token. These things never work, let's be honest. Oh my god, I won it. Oh yay, that is brilliant. Look, I can't believe it. No one ever wins on those things and I won something. Hey guys, it is a couple of days later since I took you to Harrods with me and I wanted to sit here, chat to you, talk to you about some things that I've got recently that haven't worked for me. They Maybe they won't work for you. Anyway, I thought I'd share them and they don't really warrant their own video. I know, I'm sat back here in my messy dressing room. I've got loads of shoes and stuff that I'm gonna put up, like a pair of Christian Louboutins and like Chanel shoes. So I'll show you that in this video as well. Anyway, things that I've tried recently that haven't worked for me. I can't believe that I've got sucked in. You know those videos that you see on Instagram? You know the black mask one? Where you'd see these gross little videos of people like pulling all this rubbish out of their skin? There's a few different brands out there that do it, but effectively it's all the same thing. And I wanted to share with you that this is possibly, actually no, it is the worst mask I've ever used. It is like properly black. When I first looked at it, oh my God. Okay, I've just put the lid back on that. It's like everywhere. This mask is runny, as you can see, it's runny. You put it on your face, it takes forever to dry. Like an insanely long time. I had it on my face for half an hour and there were areas of it that were completely still wet and I ended up getting the hair dryer onto my face to make it dry. Then when you go to peel it off, any sort of like, and I knew this anyway, but any sort of like fine baby hairs you've got around here hurts a bit, but not, to be, to be honest, not that much. The problem I found is that the mask doesn't 
lift hardly anything out of your skin. It actually leaves your skin feeling really dry after. It did, it just did nothing. And the, the thickness of it, like it almost needs to be thicker. It's like a really thin film. So as you're peeling it off, like bits of it are flaking off, like not flaking off, but they're coming apart. And I just didn't find that it was any good. So that's the first thing. The second thing, has anyone else seen those videos on Instagram of the girl peeling the skin off her feet? If you haven't seen that, you, it's not it's not nice but it's basically these so what this is i really liked the idea of this and you would think that i'd learnt from the black mask to like not buy any more instagram stuff but i did i got these they are um they're like a, a, a plastic sock that you put over your foot it's like a plastic bag and each one is filled with i think it looks like acids actually that's on it you leave it on your foot you've got to leave these on for two hours and then over the next five days it says, the, the skin on your foot naturally sheds. First up, when you put these on your feet, it is like walking around in wet socks in a bog. You are walking around squelching, sliding everywhere. Staircases are dangerous. Two hours, I waited two hours. You've then got to wash, make sure your feet are totally clean after. They say the process takes seven days. It doesn't. It took around about two weeks for me. The skin does not come off evenly. In those videos, it would make you think that the whole skin's gonna come off and it's quick and it's easy and you've got soft feet and it's amazing. It doesn't, and I will say that if you're going to any events where you need to wear strappy shoes or sandals, just don't do this because you have bits of skin, like the skin even peels off off the top of your foot, like on the edges. They feel hot and puffy. You feel like you've got a chemical burn. To me anyway, I had that for like the first week. The bit that's sort of quite annoying now is that I did this maybe a month ago. All of the skin has now come off. Yeah, my feet are really soft, but I can't even wear a shoe these days. Literally things like the back of your ankles, the so like the side of your foot that rubs against shoes. I can't, honestly, you end up with these blisters out of nowhere and it's because the hard skin's been removed, like too much. And yeah, so I just wanted to share that. They're not the best thing ever. The other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is in this room, as you can see behind me, I keep talking about how I'm gonna clean this place out and I don't do it because it's really boring. I did a couple of hours of it a few weeks ago and I literally mean a couple of hours and I probably got about four things photographed and it's really hard to like try and get the light right so you can actually see the color of things and anyway, I've already started putting things on my Depop which I'll put the details of below. The things that I wanna show you are things that I haven't gone on there yet. I think one has. So the first pair of shoes are these. These are actually like a boot. I also liked the tassels that are on them. I actually wore these once. I wore them to David's brother's birthday party and my feet hurt so much because they are too narrow for me and they pinch so badly. These are a size eight and a half US, which is a six UK or 39 European. And these come in their own box, but they're all fresh. Like I literally bought them from the boutique and then wore them once and never again. So that is the first shoe there. The next pair of shoes that I want to show you are these. These are my first pair of Christian Louboutin shoes. And these are, I think these are Bianca. They're like the highest heel. I don't think they're as high as Hot Chick, but they're really high. But when you wear them, the height is way compensated by this platform here. When you wear them, although they're really high, you sort of feel like you're in a hundred millimeter because the heel is effectively like that high. Do you see what I mean? So they're actually really comfortable to wear. I've worn them as you can see there a couple of times. I'm just selling them because for me, I used to wear these a lot when I used to go out with friends and stuff to bars and stuff and I don't really do that anymore. These also come in their own box with the dust bags and all of that kind of thing and they're in the black patent. These are a size 39 and a half which is a six and a half as well. These are true to size but if you are normally if you're normally a six and a half to a small size seven which is a 40 then these are good for you because that's sort of my foot sizing. I'm like I'm a 30, 39 and a half, but every so often I, I feel like a 40 is a better fit. And they're also good in terms of width. Next, and it's another pair of boots. I don't know why I do this. I buy things and I just don't wear them. These are a pair of Karen Millen boots. The heel is maybe, I think that's under 100 millimeters. 
and they are like that on the front. I got these last autumn. The problem I have with them is they don't fit. I got a 39, I needed a half size, but they didn't have it and the 40 was too big. I thought that I was gonna be able to work with it, but I can't. I don't actually have the box for these anymore. I've got a pair of Chanel shoes that I'm gonna sell as well. I think you've seen these before. They've got the metal heel tip on them and on the toe, They've got the double C stitched in here. These are absolutely crazy. These are limited edition. Does anyone remember when Kurt Geiger did the Fashionistas range where they created, I think they created like six pairs of shoes made out of premium quality products and each pair of shoes was designed based on a different theme and the themes were based on areas in London. So this shoe is called Bermondsey and apparently back in the day, Bermondsey was known for the area where hats were made. And so this pair of shoes is based on that. It's got the sort of um, lattice detail on the front that I guess you'd have over like the veil of your face. On the side of it, this is like, it's not snake, but it looks it. And it's got a copper sort of glisten to it. And it's got the platform under there. And what I really liked about it as well is it's got like, it's almost like, I don't know, it just goes in there slightly, which looks really pretty. These are a size 40, which is a UK seven. So I'm also selling those plus other things that are on the rail behind me. I need to go through it. I'm gonna try and do it today. I hope you don't mind, by the way. I hope you don't mind me talking about this on here. I feel really awkward talking about anything where I'm like, if you wanna go and buy it, you know, I just, but at the end of the day, you're sort of helping me clear this room out because by talking about it, I then have to go and put it on Depop. So that's a really good thing for me. But also I do get so many of you in the comments saying, where do you sell your stuff? Like you seem to be interested in it. So I hope that this is helpful and not weird in like a weird way. And now before I go, I'm just gonna show you this dress because some of you might still be able to get it in the sale and it's really pretty. Can you believe it? What did I say this was? 70, 76 pounds. And I actually ended up getting another 10% off when I was in there because I had the Harrods reward card and it was, they had something going on that day. But yeah, I love this dress. This is from Self Portrait. I did look at getting that other colour, but I didn't get it in the end because I actually really liked the yellow. I just like the colour of this dress. It, I felt like it. I, I don't know. I just preferred it. And then I'm just wearing it with those. Do you remember those shoes from last year? These are the Gucci Marmont shoes. Yeah. So what do you what do you think? So that is it. I'm gonna let you go now because I've been talking for way too long. If you have any questions at all put them in the comments below and what I try and do is like scan through and any questions I try and answer whenever I see them so that is cool thank you again and I'll see you in the next video